In today's video, we're going to cover two different plugins you can use to add breadcrumbs to your WordPress website. Our first option is Yoast SEO. To get started, go to your WordPress dashboard, navigate to plugins, search for Yoast SEO, and then install and activate the plugin. Next, we need to add a short snippet of code to your WordPress theme files. You can add the code to any theme file, but for the most part, you'll want to add it to your single.php file to show up on all posts, page.php file to show up on all pages, or to your header.php file to show up site-wide. For this example, I'm going to add the breadcrumbs code to the header.php file. Simply open the file and add the following PHP snippet provided by Yoast to activate the breadcrumbs functionality. This will display breadcrumbs directly under the header of all pages, which is a common placement for breadcrumbs. But now we need to activate the breadcrumbs in the plugin settings. To do this, navigate to SEO and then search appearance. Then click the breadcrumbs tab and enable the setting. Then you can configure the breadcrumb settings according to your needs. For this example, I'm going to set my post to show categories in the breadcrumbs. Now we've gone from this to this. You may need to adjust the style of your breadcrumbs using some external CSS. To do that, you can use the CSS ID breadcrumbs in your style.css file or in the additional CSS section on your theme options. There is also a short code available, which is WPSEO underscore breadcrumb. If you don't want to use Yoast SEO and you're looking for another simple option, the breadcrumb NavXT plugin is an excellent choice. Just like last time, go to plugins, search for breadcrumb nav XT, install and activate it. To call the breadcrumbs so that they display on your website, you can use the built-in breadcrumb nav XT widget provided in the widgets page. Navigate to appearance, widgets, and drag the breadcrumb nav XT widget onto the widget area. The plugin has some powerful options for configuring your breadcrumbs, and you can access these settings by going from your WordPress dashboard to settings breadcrumb nav XT. And just like the last plugin, you can style the breadcrumbs from your additional CSS window or in the style.css file by calling the class breadcrumbs. And just like that, you now know how to add breadcrumbs to your WordPress website using two different plugins. If this video helped you, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, we'll see you in the next video.